Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the batch six, which is going to be ultimate DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps. So I'll be explaining in detail what exactly we are going to cover and how this course is going to be really useful for you. So in, to, in order to enroll to the course, you can simply go to the link in the description and you can click on that. That will take you to this page. And as of now, we are having early bird discount. So if you click on buy course, it will be automatically a coupon will be applied and final price that comes is going to be 7559. Okay. So in this way, you can enroll talking about the uh, syllabus that we are going to cover. So short syllabus, you can see here every single tool that is needed for DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps. We will be covering in detail. If you want to see detailed syllabus, like what exactly we are going to cover, you can check out the documentation the, whose link will be in the description. Okay. Everything I have mentioned in detail, what exactly we are going to cover and we are going to cover everything in through modules. Okay. And one thing I'll tell you team, best part about this course is that it's not that we are going to cover just one or two CICD tools. We are going to cover four. We are going to cover Jenkins. We are going to cover GitHub Actions, GitLab CICD and Azure pipelines so that you have a wide variety of knowledge uh, on like CICD tools as well. Okay. Also like uh, this uh, security tools we are going to cover. Uh, then we are going to cover next artifact management, Docker deep dive. We are going to cover in Docker. You are going to cover everything that you need to know everything. Okay. Introduction, writing Docker files, Docker container manipulation, private Docker, how we can set up and how we can use it. Then advanced Docker techniques, then Docker compose, Docker networking, Docker volumes, and then we are going to perform projects. Okay. Also team, one more thing that I should say to you that every topic that I cover, I'm going to give you first of all, 200 plus interview questions and answer related to that tool, common errors and troubleshooting through documentation format real time use case scenario that is going to be really useful. Okay. Similar to that, we are going to cover all the different modules in deep dive. That will be the base part. Okay. Now you can go through the doc documentation to understand like what exactly we are going to cover, but let us focus on understanding how this course is going to be useful for you. Okay. So let me explain you that I don't want to make very long video, so uh, I'll keep it short. So, you know, most people where exactly they get stuck in interviews, they get stuck in the scenario based questions. Okay. So, you know, the way that I'm going to prepare you for interviews for scenario based questions, first of uh, for that, what we are going to do, whatever topic I cover, for example, let's say I'm covering Jenkins, right? So first of all, I'm going to cover about Jenkins, like deep dive. What exactly is uh, Jenkins, how we can implement and everything. Uh, we can create multiple kind of pipelines, webhooks and everything we are going to do. Once we have covered deep dive Jenkins, then we are going to understand like what kind of pipelines, what kind of pipelines are being used in companies. Okay. Because you know, uh, there is a big difference between the pipelines that you see on YouTube versus the pipelines that we create in companies. There is a huge difference. So I'm going to explain like how what kind of pipelines we use or create in companies. Okay. Side by side of your, uh, for example, let's say I'm uh, teaching some other topic. So I'm going to explain how that tool is being used in companies so that you have real time knowledge, what exactly that tool does and why we are using it in companies and how we are using it. Okay. Then the real time troubleshooting. When I tell about like when I say real time troubleshooting, that means key the kind of issues that I have faced in companies with respect to these tools, the actual issues, I'm not talking about the general issues, the actual issues that I have faced, I'm going to explain to you in detail all right, along with the documentation so that you understand it very well. Okay. This will be there plus a interview prep documentation will be there where inside this interview prep document, what you will be having. First of all, uh, hands on scripts you will be having, which you can use for practice. You are going to have interview Q and A more than 200. We are going to have interview questions for each topic, not as a whole for each single topic. Okay. After that real time troubleshooting, like real time errors and troubleshooting. We are going to have in detail so that you can understand what kind of issues we face in real time. See, you know, team to be very frank tools that you see how they are being used in uh, YouTube. There are lots of videos, but how they are being used in companies. There is a huge difference. That's what I try to cover in this course. Okay. This will be there. Plus there will be other documentation with respect to that tool. Okay. So these will be covered in a single tool. Now let's talk about what else I'll be helping you with. There are many people who are going to transition, transition to DevOps. Uh, from my previous batches, lots of people have transitioned to DevOps by just completing the course and 
following whatever I have taught. Okay, and that's what I can 100% say for you also. If you are completing the course, understanding everything, easily you can transition to DevOps, right? For transition, what basically what I can help you? First of all, projects. When I say projects, like see, when you are preparing your resume, you will be adding your projects, right? So if you are adding just open source project Java or basic projects from Google. it won't be useful because if you are going to transition you need to have projects that are actually being used in companies so i'm going to have a discussion with you with respect to your uh, like uh, what kind of task you have done in your company from that only i'll be explaining you what things you can be you can be adding in your resume in order to help you with transition okay also i'm going to explain you how you can explain in interviews what kind of things they are going to ask and how you can explain your role Ki what you have done in that project, okay? This plus task. So task are also very important when you are preparing your resume if you are going for interviews. So how task is going to be useful? So basically, you know there are different kind of tasks. There are kind of tasks like POC. So when we have to add POC and what things we can add inside POC that I'll be explaining. Then your day-to-day -day activities, okay? What You can explain that what what is your general routines, what you are doing. Those things I'll be explaining you. Okay, this is the general routine which you can explain. Okay, so all these things and also I'll be helping you with LinkedIn profile. So that you know because uh, for me since I post on regular basis and on regular basis I get a lot of job opportunities. Okay, so for example if I just put paper today I can still have a job job immediately within one or two days because you know I get on regular basis job opportunities. So I'll be explaining you. I'll be helping you. how you can configure or modify your linkedin profile to get better opportunities what you can do to get like uh, uh, more connections okay so all those things i'll be helping you with and this is why this course is like ultimate everything is getting covered in this course and this course to this course is going to be really useful if you are serious about like getting a devops job or serious about transitioning one example i'll tell you uh, from one of our previous batches there was one guy who is actually uh, i think 40 years old and he was completely in different domain but after completing the course he was able to join a devops profile okay De different he actually transitioned to a different company with a devops role okay and that's the best part so that's what i i, I will try to help you with all these things okay so yeah and if you have any queries the contact number will be in the description you can ping me over whatsapp or we can have uh, connect also regarding the course so yeah do not hesitate and if you have any queries just ping me okay so yeah that's all for today's video and i hope you are going to learn